Hey everyone, welcome back. Last time we learned to use the air shield, and this time we're looking at the if-else meta node. This node is especially useful if you want to control the direction that your automation takes based on a certain condition. Alright, so how exactly does this work? Similar to the air shield, we first have to drag and drop a node into the if-else meta node. Here, let's first drag the ASCII node into the if-else node. By doing so, we see a bunch of options. These are very similar to the filter node's options. Here, we can choose which output we'd like to apply the condition on. Since the ASCII node only has one output, we can apply it on the response of the ASCII node. For the condition type, we are trying to determine whether the AI response matches a certain condition. We can choose from any one of these options. But for this case, I'm just going to choose number is greater than. And for the condition, we can just add 90. Now let's give the AI context of a candidate's resume and ask it to grade the candidate's resume on a scale of 0 to 100 based on technical experience. What the if-else meta node will do in this case is determine the direction of the flow based on the response from the AI. If the AI infers from a candidate's resume that they are technically experienced, we can write them a success email inviting them for an interview. And in the other case, we can write back telling them that unfortunately the company will be continuing with other candidates at this moment. Now let's take a look at another example. Here we have a simplified version of an internal tool that we use at Gumloop. This automation receives a list of emails of users that have signed up to use the platform. We split the text from a list into individual email addresses and use the if-else meta node to direct the flow based on whether the email address is a personal email or a company email by checking whether the split text contains the phrase gmail.com. If the email is a personal email, we send the user an introductory email welcoming them to the platform and how to get started. But if the email is a business email, we send them a similar introduction, but also list out the benefits of an enterprise plan and why it could help their organization. 